showdown. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, big train. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Oh, slips his head and counters with a hook. Nice job by Lee. Lands the right hand out of that exchange. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Keep doing it again. 
Nice, sneaky head kick. And he connects there. <laughs> Lee going for the head kick. No dice. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Nice job of hiding that head kick. He landed a good uppercut there. Sure, how many more of these his opponent can take? Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure. He's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Round two is next. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with fire well you know he's comfortable fighting off his back oh and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom nicely done by lee back to his feet oh beautiful jab by him there and now his opponent in a world of trouble such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it coming high and now he's got a first bad Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Jab hurt him a little bit. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big ball crush land. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick. Swing and a miss by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just missed with the left there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Let's move 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Good one. Final seconds here. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Lee. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. That's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Big head kick land. Lee's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Good punch land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And he landed the right hand there. Visibly limping here. Big kick. Beautiful straight counter. He gets touched by that kick to the body. Just like that, the fight is over. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 57 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Big Bang! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout.